In today's video, we will be talking about Japan's largest robot exhibition, humanoid robots that work in tandem with its operators and maintains railroads and other transportation systems, surgical robots that can perform a wide range of operations, Capricorn robots that can walk around tough and smooth terrains, Next Age collaborative robot that embodies practicality, performance, and design with high proximity to humans, service robots that are designed to be used in hotel and restaurant businesses, Mobile Gripper that picks and moves cardboard boxes of different sizes without damaging them. Delivery Robot that was co-developed by Rakuten, autonomous harvesting robot that uses computer vision to pick and find ripe fruit. Pussycat Robots that are designed for remote communication. Orpheus Robot that is a ping pong robot. Robot Cooks that make coffee and Japanese pancakes. Humanoid Robots HRP4 that can strike poses in response to voice commands. Number 12, Humanoid Robots. This robot was made by a human machinery company that made a demonstration of the robot's general purpose of working in conjunction with an aerial work platform. The humanoid robot can be controlled remotely and it provides the operator with feedback for grip strength and control. The machine is equipped with powerful actuators that give it high precision movements and provide it with strength. The robot works in tandem with its operators and maintains railroads and other transportation systems. According to the developers, it allows a safe job for people by protecting the workers during operations with heavy elements. It also increases their wages by improving their skills. Number 11. Surgical Robots This robot received its regulatory approval last August, and it is positioned as Japan's first robotic surgical system. Medicaroid was founded as a joint venture between Kawasaki Heavy Industries and medical electronics manufacturer Seismax. Due to its precision and large number of degrees of freedom, it can perform a wide range of operations. This robot has no specific specialization. It has eight axis arms, full high dimension, and three-dimensional imaging. These arms move and function just like human arms. The compact size and function of these surgical robots will make them become more popular, not only in Japan, but all over the world. Number 10, Capricorn Robots. This robot was one of the most unusual robots at the exhibition. It has wheels, horns, legs, a saddle, and a steering wheel. The robot can walk around tough and smooth terrains. On a rough terrain, it moves on its four legs, and when on a smooth road, it transforms into a wheeled platform. To do this, the robot literally gets on its knees and extends another pair of wheels and a motor from its belly. The robot has the ability to carry goods that weigh up to 100 kilograms. It can also carry people. They get to control the robot by a steering wheel, the same way you control a bicycle or how a rider controls their horse. It can also control it remotely. The robot developers claim the robots can be used in industrial plants and construction to move goods and carry out inspections. It has cameras in its head that it uses to stream videos. Number nine, next age collaborative robot. The humanoid collaborative robot was the main announcement of the exhibition. This robot is a continuation of the Next Age line that has long been actively implemented in several industrial enterprises in Japan. The robot embodies practicality and the Qandas three concepts of compact size, development, and magic price of performance and designed with high proximity to humans. It is not only designed for enterprises, but also for applications in other industries, such as hospitality industries and the like. The price of the collaborative robot in the Japanese market is just over $50,000. Number eight, service robots. A wide range of service robots was presented at this exhibition. These robots are designed to be used in hotel and restaurant businesses. These autonomous robots are equipped with a positioning system it has an accuracy level of one centimeter that allows them to move in narrow spaces. They can communicate with users through the menus and they exchange data with each other. Thanks to its navigation system, the robots quickly adapt to a new environment. It also has an auto charge feature that makes it easy to use. Interestingly, SoftBank Robotic Group Corporation is actively involved in the development of the robots company. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are loving the content. Number seven, Mobile Gripper. The prototype of a mobile gripper was unveiled at the Tokyo Robotic, 
the gripper is capable of picking and moving cardboard boxes of different sizes without damaging them. It is designed to deliver these boxes at short distance delivery, palletizing, and depalletizing in a small and medium-sized logistics facility, markets, and factories. The robot's left and right grippers rotate independently of each other, and they also have a side slip function for neat palletizing jobs. It carries out a stable operation. This is possible because the position and shape of the cardboard boxes can be detected by computer vision. Each gripper supports four degrees of freedom and lifts up objects that are 160 centimeters off the floor. Movement is possible by means of a line or mark on the floor. Future plans for this robot include support for the rail-free navigation using SLAM technology. Number six, delivery robot. Honda Motors also showcased an autonomous delivery robot that is co-developed with Rakuten. Its mobile platform for construction sites was shown only on the video booth, as well as the Uni1 electric wheelchair and an avatar robot of its own design. This robot, however, does not look particularly advanced compared to what is on the market today. Apparently, the company just wanted to show that it has such developments. Number five, autonomous harvesting robot. At the booth of the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries, the autonomous harvesting robot was showcased at the exhibition. This simple and cheap robot was designed to reduce the suffering farmers go through from a shortage of workers. There has been a shortage in labor for harvesting, and these robots are the solution. The most economical way to move the robot was to use stretched wires. The robot uses computer vision to find and pick ripe fruit. Number four, pussycat robots. The robots move in sync with each other. They are apparently designed for remote communication. An interesting novelty was a scooter for moving around theme parks with elements of augmented reality. Number three, Forpheus robot. A ping pong robot made by Omicron was also exhibited. The robot is highly accurate while playing and it seldom loses. It has the ability to predict the trajectory of the ball before and after impact with the racket and it also determines the movement of the racket. For example, the speed and direction of the return of the ball. It has upgraded cameras and sensors which allow the Forpheus to simultaneously detect movements of the ball, racket, and player with high speed and accuracy through synchronized sensing. Number two, RoboCooks. No robot exhibition is without the automated cooks that are most often implemented based on industrial manipulators. The major reason for the adoption of this robot is driven by the inability to find workers. The robot is based on artificial intelligence and it was presented at IREX. It was implemented based on Canova and the industrial robots called collaborative robots. It makes coffee and Japanese pancakes. And number one, humanoid robot HRP4. The humanoid robot HRP4 was made by Kawada Robotics and was displayed at the exhibition. It is very light and compact. It weighs only 39 kilograms and has a height of 151 centimeters. The robot was a sensation in 2010 and has since been used by the company mainly for advertisement. It is designed to collaborate with humans and can also perform remarkably well. The robot can strike poses in response to voice commands and it can also detect and track human faces and certain objects.